Hi there, these comments are for GK. I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the 7-Step System to Pass a TOEFL IBT, and you're doing the free TOEFL Speaking Practices Evaluation at my website at onlinetoeflcourse.com. And it looks like you're answering the second question here. What is your favorite holiday of the year? Why? And give reasons for your choice. Okay, so the next thing is I'm looking at the rubrics. You see this? The highest score you can get is 30. The lowest score you can get is zero. And uh, I'm going to try to figure out where your score is right now. So usually what I like to do is I start at three. Before I listen to your practice test, I'm assuming you're at 3.0. Now, as I listen to your response, do I want to go higher than that? Do I want, do I want to go lower than that? Right? So let's listen to your response now. And the first time I want to listen to it, I'm not going to make any comments at all. And then the second time I listen to it, <coughs> I will give you my impressions and I will give you what I consider a good estimated score on your speaking abilities right now. Being living in India, which is known as the country of festivals, uh, my favorite festival is Diwali. Uh, this is because of the two reasons. Firstly, uh, on this festival, everybody from everywhere, wherever they do job or in their colleges, wherever they live, they come back to their homes and everybody gathers and boasts crackers and celebrate Diwali. Secondly, it is also known as the festival of lights and everybody... Uh, uh, lights up their houses and uh, the whole uh, neighbors and whole uh, the country looks very uh, beautiful uh, that's why uh, i love this festival okay so Being now the question India, is, which is what is your score right so uh i'm gonna go down below three so uh i'm looking at these uh categories here uh, you have some problems with pronunciation, no doubt. Uh, I think with your language use, you have uh, pretty basic vocabulary and grammar, and you can also do a better job connecting your ideas together. I'm going to put you right now at 2.5 out of 4, or 19 points out of 30. That is uh, my best estimation right now. So let's listen to it one more time. Being living in India, which is known as the country of festivals, uh, my favorite festival is Diwali. Yeah, but it's not my favorite festival. What's your favorite holiday? So I would restate that. So just say, in India, my favorite holiday is, then explain maybe two reasons why you like it, and then go on and develop each of those points. Uh, this is because of the two reasons. Yeah, this is because of two reasons. That's a template. Stop. You probably read that at some other website. Don't do it, right? So if you say, well, I like this holiday because I can spend time with my family and enjoy good food, that's going to be more specific. Then you'll say, first of all, I like this holiday because I get to spend time with my family. Or you blah, 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 blah. And there's a second of all, I also like this holiday because of the delicious food. Then you give some examples to illustrate that. Firstly, uh, on this festival, everybody from everywhere, wherever they do job or in their colleges. Here's a problem. Everybody and they. Who are they? Who is everybody? Why not be more specific? Why not talk about your family or your specific friends and yourself and talk about why you and your family and your friends like the holidays. So a more personal approach to this task is going to, is going to force you to use more specific detail and more specific vocabulary, and that's going to help you score higher. Wherever they live, they come back to their homes and everybody gathers and boasts crackers and I would say they go back to their homes, not come back to their homes. We have the differences between go and come what is the normal state or the not normal state? The normal state would be, you would say, well, I'm coming home. You might tell somebody who's at your house right now. But if you leave your house, you're no longer in that normal state. I would say, I, and we go back 
to our homes. Celebrate Diwali. Secondly, it is also known. Now, when you end the sentence, you want to end it with a falling, not rising tone. You're kind of ending your sentences with a rising tone, and that's not the uh, intonation patterns of English. The exception here uh, is if you have a yes, no question, then you end the sentence as the with tone. Festival of lights and everybody uh, uh, lights up. Let's go back to what you just said there. Hold on. And burst crackers and celebrate Diwali. Secondly, it is also known as the festival of light. Instead of saying secondly, it's also known as this festival lights. I would say secondly, I also enjoy this holiday because of the lights, the celebrated lights they have. Right. So you when you move to each of your support points, you want to include a topic statement that's more of an argument, not a fact. Everybody uh, uh, lights up their houses and uh, the whole. And who is everybody? What if you said, well, for example, you know, my mom and my dad during this holiday turn lights on in their homes. These lights are, are red, they're blue, they're orange or Whatever, you know, you need to be more specific. You're talking about things in a very general sense. Uh, neighbors and whole, uh, the country looks very uh, beautiful. Notice the word very there. You're having some trouble differentiating between the V and the B consonant sounds. Also, you can work on the T and the D consonant sounds and even the P and the B consonant sounds. Uh, that's why uh, I love this festival. Notice at the very end, you finally say I, or that's why I love this festival. So you, you kind of get more specific near the end there. But it says, what is your favorite holiday of the year? Why? Give reasons for your choice. You talked about things in a very general sense, right? You weren't specific enough. So I think in, in all three areas, you definitely need to make some improvements. Uh, with your delivery, for example, uh, you need to work on a lot of different vowel and consonant sounds I've already talked about. I think language use, you need more specific vocabulary and a little bit more advanced grammar in there to help express your ideas. Topic development, beginning with a more focused topic statement in the beginning, you could probably better connect your ideas together and frame things as more of an argument, not just a bunch of facts about a holiday and you weren't very specific in the details that you gave. And that's why I'm putting you at around 2.5 out of four, 19 points out of 30 on this practice test. All right, and uh, thank you for doing that. And by the way, I have an online TOEFL course right now, and I have what's called a TOEFL speaking boot camp course. This course ordinarily costs 100 and $30 a month. This course is on sale right now for $45 a month. I will put a link in the email so you can learn a little bit more about this uh, TOEFL speaking bootcamp course. And guess what? You can send me speaking practice just like you did today, every day. And I will help you improve your delivery, your language use, and your topic development areas.